Yo, numbers, Thanks so dude. much, numbers. Yeah, numbers out here giving. What, dropping these numbers. <laughs> yeah, the numbers. Got the numbers in the bank account. It ain't. There's a bunch of zeros there. <laughs> All right, but setting up blocks a lot does allow Weefa to get deep breathing here. But numbers out here with the chase down. D Dog. So, what D Dog wants to do is probably just build until they get um, good good enough resources for like like more stone to, for combos. Oh, just go wow. off deep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That saved them. They. I was like, yeah, they seem dead from that. They were, but they have the soul read on numbers volleyballing them to help out. Yeah. And just trying to make use of this wood. And these nice, like, chunky hitboxes from uh, the pickaxes, it's good at stopping Weefit from doing, like, their jump side these are, you know, a lot of the options he like going for because it just completely shuts down ball. Yeah. And you see D-Dog already has diamond and gold on deck. So now threat, not... Sun Salutation not going to kill across stage. Yeah, and I think D-Dog's probably trying to save them for the next stock fight, I guess. Yeah. That's... Definitely would be the case. Oh, oh, bit of a drop from numbers. Yeah. Picks it up with that, I think, frame five back air. So, um, D Dog. That's ridiculous. Frame five. Yeah, I, I, I know it's really, really good <laughs> and really fast, but uh, numbers would know more than me. So yeah. I'll have to ask. Ooh, it's some pressure with this TNT, but yeah. it actually takes a really long time to explode if you just let it go like that. So yeah. Numbers was not too scared, just kind of jumped away. Minecart gonna take it right there. Alright, and some pickaxe combos with diamond on. Yeah, that could have been way bigger if they got the spike. Ooh. Oh, going for the spike yeah. right there. And also, something interesting we saw right there is they just side beat right through Sun Salutation, not really caring about it. And that could be huge. If they can get a read on when numbers of Sun Salutation, we can get a very quick kill with uh, the side beat. Yeah. Solid percent. It seems like they're going for it more when they have the when they have like what do you call it gold on deck. Ooh. So gold allows gold and redstone allows them to armor and just be a lot faster. Yeah. Another thing interesting is um, D Dog's been using the flame to two frame Wii Fit, which yeah. seems really uh, really good for Wii Fit because of how like slow and kind of predictable the recovery is. Like you can kind of yeah. just react to the hula hoops and two frame it. And but then they go off stage and kind of drop it. So I think personally, D Dog's got to be playing the ledge a bit better. Yeah. Oh, S Smash's gonna take it right there. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you need to play the ledge better if you got S Smash like that. Yeah, that was a bit of a blessing for D Dog right there. Um, just getting the numbers dropping that uh, down tilt punish on the up B. Yeah. And now you have to decide if you want to make the blocks or like continue mining. But it doesn't matter actually, because you're just gonna get a new one right here. Yeah, and this is so interesting because Steve's just a character who is almost objectively stronger their second and third stock because usually by then they have a consistent diamond on deck. Yeah. And so it, it's you're just playing almost a completely different game, those um the second and third stock yeah. rather than the first. Yeah, it's just super strong. I think D Dog's probably looking for some gold right now though. Nothing for minecarts, uh only one iron and no gold on deck. And minecart I think is a really strong option, so definitely something that's on their mind. Yeah. Alright, down tilt. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, just, Numbers just a volleyball to the face. And it's fair out of disadvantage. Oh! Oh, making it back though. Oh, yeah, we fit with the furthest roll in the game. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> yeah, this D Dog was not, was read to roll, but just wasn't prepared for the distance. Yeah. TNT on ledge. Yeah. Bear, gonna take it. Oh, I'm no. so, I'm such a liar. Deep breathing uh, makes we fit live longer. And D-Dog just going hard for it. Yeah. You gotta be patient. You can't let yourself just throw out stuff willy-nilly yeah. against these last hit situations, especially versus numbers. Yeah, and it's definitely gonna back air you for it if you hit him on the wrong side. Yeah, no and iron on deck. Yeah, no iron. So this is gonna be really tough. Oh, and there we they go. They got one yeah. and just let it go. And that's a really good win right there. A good start of the set right there. What a clutch iron. Yeah. That, it just that came right crazy. in time. Like, look at this. Look at this.
hit his shield, not able to get the pressure. He and saw it and he, and he knew what he had yeah. to do. <laughs> I know what I must do. <laughs> I must build this cart. <laughs> Years of uh, mining led to that moment yeah. for D-Dog. Years of actually playing Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. I wish that made you better because I'd be the best Steve in the world. <laughs> Grew up with that one. Oh, I'm so old. <laughs> oh, right. and D Dog probably literally was like five when Minecraft came out. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll see. Can't wait for Fortnite to be in the game. Last guy. I, I would, it would be so funny. <laughs> we have like the LeBron James ult, the Thanos ult. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. But numbers has a bunch of damage. On him, and you would not like expect that with just a Steve player just trying to be, play, just mine for a lot of the time. But D Dog has been wow. going in and up smash anti airing. Yeah. Yeah, no deep breathing right there means we fit's gonna die a, a good chunk earlier. And D Dog is not been afraid of numbers really this entire set. You would think, yeah. um, it, like they must have some Wii Fit experience, I want to say, because they just don't respect numbers options too much and are getting away with it because yeah. Steve has such good pressure tools. Yeah, I know they do play online, so they probably played some of the great Wii Fits out there, like such as Xavier and others. Yeah, and now they're getting a bit creative with these block setups on ledge. I like that down smash on the off stage. Also, Lou Jesus. Who is here? Who should be here? Yeah, uh, they are. Yeah. Oh, just some solitation in the face. And Numbers needs to find something to come back. And back here, gonna do it. Yeah, but right before dying, D-Dog did get a diamond, which is really nice for him because now during the second stock, he does not really have to worry about mining that much. Mainly just needs like one quick gold. Yeah. Definitely one gold will do it. Numbers has been able to get these uh, um, side bees above ledge to punish the flame. And I wonder if uh, D Dog's waiting to read that until a later time and to like then kill them for it with a fair yeah. spike. Just might be. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Steve's tiny, tiny jumps. Yeah. Into play right there. One of the worst um, jumps in the game. Full hop can't even like make it to like the to battlefield platform. Good jump yeah. air dodge from numbers. TNT is a bit scary. Yeah. It takes so long randomly to blow up. And I do like the anvil now, the use of the anvil to go down, but Epto gonna take it right here. Yeah, that's huge for numbers getting out of that ledge situation because that could have been um, a really quick stock for D Dog. Yeah. And grabbing him out of the cart, so bold, but it does waste the resources that D Dog has. Yeah, and right now, D Dog's only got playing cards on deck. Did use it right there. Another one. Oh. Yeah, lane to go early now. Numbers probably prioritizing just getting the card out of the way rather than um trying to get a kill or anything. Yeah. And I wonder if D Dog might just use it instead of jumping out all the time because numbers are starting to read that. Ooh. Ooh, oh. Oh. Went just for one. it all. Yeah. One for blood. And you can't blame him right there. It's a pretty spot. It's a pretty tricky spot to be in for numbers. If numbers was not composed and like um, mash jump, it would have been the game. Yeah. Okay, great parry. What is he gonna do? Oh, oh. that Just, would have been it, I think. Yeah, it definitely would have with that low. Oh! Wow! wow. That was unexpected. And that's a huge what upset coming heck? out. Yeah. Numbers, someone who can often win the whole tournament, losing, I believe, in pools. Yeah, pools winner semis. Yeah. Not even pools winner finals, pools winner semis to Steve and the tricks from D Dog right there. Did not do that the entire set. Comes out with a quick F smash. Yeah, I would have got caught by that. Yeah, I, that was so fast. Yeah. He was there. He just put the block out and just F smashed him. And Steve just, this character's strong. This yeah. character's got such good damage strings, such good kill power. Yeah. And D-Dog is able to just utilize the super well. Um, yeah, but it looks like that's going to be the end of uh, our time.